guys welcome to the channel and thank you so much uh to everyone who has subbed recently and have uh followed me and it's just been crazy um because of the the whole brindling collab thing and <laughs> so um thank you guys so much and um you know for supporting my channel and um just being just being great uh, so today we are doing a vet clinic, or animal hospital, I think is what I called it. Um, it's located in Sable Square in Brindlin Bay. Um, but yeah, so this is just my own lot. Uh, recently I did a Brindlin Bay's collab with um, uh, Penapple, Simlissy, Freezer Bunny, Devin Bumpkin, Harry, and Gavin Sims. And it was amazing. It was truly amazing. We're all like having... Uh, withdrawals now we're kind of sad that it's over i'm hoping that in the future uh we'll have another collab maybe and i think it, that would be great too um but if you are interested we do have a world save uh ready to go for you guys to download um if you've been following along if you haven't i'll provide a link down below to all of our speed builds it's a, a playlist with all of them in it so you can get caught up on that um so yeah, we, we basically like built all the lots and um, filled it all up and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I'm not saying that because I, you know, I built some of them, but it's just like everyone's um, personal style and talent and just beautiful things were built and put into that world. So I highly recommend uh, to you guys to uh, check it out if you haven't already because it's just great. Um, but some of you guys, uh, requested that I make a vet clinic, um, a while back, honestly, but I just wanted to get, you know, get through the Brindle and Bay collab, which was like a whole week of builds, um, and then, you know, slowly start on my own builds once again on the channel. So, uh, I really wanted to do this vet clinic kind of in a more modern or contemporary style because... Um, the collab builds and a lot of what I've been doing lately has been very cottagey and country and coastal and, you know, just all the stuff that's come with, um, the new pack. So I was getting a little burnt out on it, honestly, and I was like, yeah, maybe I should just do something more clean and modern and, um, so a vet clinic was, like, perfect for that. I mean, I could have gone, you know, more cutesy with it, of course, but um, in this lot in Sable Square, I was looking at the buildings kind of adjacent to it in the world, and I noticed that there's a lot of brick um, and white trim, so I didn't want to make something like super modern, at least on the outside, um, but I definitely thought using some white trim and brick um, would make it blend in a little better, you know? So yeah, um, I ended up getting rid of that left part of the landscaping because it's just too much, you know? I, I really wanted it to be pretty much just like green and uh, simple landscaping. So as you can see, I pretty much, yeah, I got rid of all that on the left side. Um, but I really, I really love how this uh, turned out. It's supposed to be for um, my pet LP, which I would like to start soon. Um, it's basically just gonna, you know, play through the vet career and see what that's all about because I haven't really played with it extensively, just, you know, to test it out. So I saw this picture of a vet clinic. I think it was a vet clinic. Um, but basically, it had this row of um, exam rooms that had frosted glass uh, windows and doors and it had these little um, tree decals and number like a number on the bottom corner of the window and I thought that was so cute and I thought it really um, vibed well with uh, the look I was going for in the clinic unfortunately we don't have any numbers or like single letter like simlish decals you know um, so I thought it would be cute to use a little paw print decal that came with cats and dogs instead and it's kind of small so it fits really nicely in the corner and each, I think there's three swatches or four maybe, but 
uh, basically what I did was coordinate um, the color decal to the accent wall in the back, which I absolutely loved, honestly. <laughs> and then uh, back here in the back of the building is the doors to um, the rehabilitation yard, which you'll see later. And this room here is the surgery room. I ended up getting rid of the two rooms next to it because I was like, well, you know, anything I do in this room, I should just copy over because it's going to be the same kind of setup in each exam room. So I ended up, you know, just focusing on this room here and then just changing a few things. So it's a little different in each room, but pretty much it's the same. So, um, so here you can see I'm adding the paint that I use so I don't forget what they are. And um, I really wanted to have coordinating like exam tables and um, things like that to the room color, but the exam tables don't coordinate completely. So I ended up just using white for the pink room and I think like the orangey green, but the orange looks a little yellow to me. so. I thought that was that would be fine. Um, it's like an orangey green for the yellow or orange room or whatever. And then I added in I added in like uh you know the diploma to put above the door. Like you know these these vets are definitely certified and you're in good hands type of thing. <laughs> so one thing I really wanted to add was a skylight. Um, here in the back of the building because you don't really get a lot of light back here and I thought it would just be really nice to kind of have the light from the ceiling uh, cascading down into the building. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do in building and um, a lot of other simmers have done it too. I wish we would have like real skylights, you know, like glass roofs. Yes, that would be great. I don't know how they would do that, but um, but yeah, so here in the front is the reception desk and I think in the vet clinics you don't need a receptionist, which makes me a little bit sad because, you know, usually there is an actual receptionist, um, in the front. But yeah, the receptionist, uh, desk is basically just for decoration. The actual login screens are on are going to be on the side of the reception desk here and i did have them kind of squished into the counter which i kind of liked the look of but i wasn't sure if they would be functional so i ended up just um you know bringing them out a little bit just to make sure and of course i had to use the adorable new little planter that came with cats and dogs and um yeah, I just wanted to have a few decorative objects on the desk to make it seem more welcoming. Um, so I just put a few things there. Of course, I had to put a pencil cup because you need something uh, to write with while you know you're writing down your paperwork or um, the I don't know. <laughs> if it says to me, there's usually pencils or pens in the reception area. Um, but yeah, on the side there, I was going to do the store, like I said before, but I ended up making it more of a, not a breakfast bar, but like a concession bar, I guess, if you're waiting for a while, which you typically do, um, you know, just in, in case you need coffee or a snack or something. And I thought about using these stone walls for the outside, but I uh, decided against it. But yeah, I thought it would be a nice, you know, a nice thing to have. Um, here on the side for guests who are waiting because I've been to like a a few clinics or like a surgery clinic that had something like that and it was just really nice because I mean I was waiting there for like hours so I imagine this to be a very um, you know high class type of clinic so I tried to make it very accommodating and very clean and just nice to be in and by the way guys, uh, tomorrow is actually going to be the start of my Santa Saturdays for this year. Last year I did a Santa Saturday series and you know, every Saturday I do a Christmas or wintery themed build. Um, one of the things on my 
schedule is a winter wedding and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it effectively because the snow mod, which I was planning on using, um, it's, it's not been updated and I think the creator is working on updating it. I'm not entirely sure if they'll be updated in time so I think I might have to um, think of something else to do. But the first um, build for Santa Saturday is a cabin getaway and I've already built it. Um, I just have to edit the video, um, but it'll be ready tomorrow and I really, really enjoy it. It's for a family um, to, you know, get away for the holidays into uh, Granite Falls and enjoy the outdoors. So that's going to be the first one tomorrow. So this is the, um, the restroom and I almost forgot to put it in. Um, and something I like to do for like public or community lots, I like to include a handicap um, restroom. So I added like a bigger, bigger stall with the bars on the side just for accessibility. Something I thought of later in the build was to include um, two rooms in uh, the surgery room where, you know, cats and dogs who need to stay overnight or for a few days while they recover after their surgery, um, you know, they'd be able to stay here. So this one, this particular room is for um, dogs and I was looking for the pet carrier because usually, you know, they'll have cages, um, but I didn't really want to use the, the fences or the gates. Um, to make them. I didn't really have enough room for that, so I used the pet carriers, which looks really cute, but unfortunately you can't delete the pet carriers once they're placed. So <laughs> if you wanted to move them, uh, I don't think you would be able to, um, unfortunately. I don't know why. So here I am making the, um, the cat uh, boarding, and I was just gonna have them all in one room, but I was like, no, they usually have them separated because that would be chaos. So um, I really enjoyed the fact uh, that they had like a cat and a dog kind of little sign. So I put those above the doors just to differentiate. Um, not that you wouldn't be able to differentiate, but it's, I thought it was a cute detail. And I was excited to use these cat and dog decals um, for the rooms because I don't think I would really use them um, otherwise, you know, in a different situation. But yeah, and I of course uh, included the um, robot cleaners because um, from the little that I have played in the vet career, it's very easy for your clinic to become a mess because of the sick pets coming in and you know, just like blah, like everywhere. <laughs> so I made sure to include um, you know, a few of those robots to make our lives easier. And this is the, um, the therapy yard, which basically just has the agility training, um, like objects back there. And I think it was, um, Devin Bumpkin. He was making a, a, a vet clinic on his live streaming, live stream on Twitch. And he made a therapy yard and, um, like, a sympathy garden. I didn't really have enough room for a sympathy garden. I really liked the idea of that, um, but, uh, I thought it was just, you know, it was just nice or appropriate to have, um, like, a physical therapy yard for, you know, dogs who need it, or cats even. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just, uh, on the outside of the building there. And then I'm just going to be adding some little details and clutter, uh, to the surgery room. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a ton of fun building this. I'm very excited about Santa Saturday starting tomorrow, and I hope to see you then. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys. Bye.